Hi, and welcome to this section of the Basic Math Word Problem Tutor, where we're going to continue our study of word problems. And this section, we're going to tackle word problems that involve division with decimals, or dividing by decimals. So we've, in this course so far, we've done adding and subtracting and multiplying and dividing whole numbers and problems that deal with that. And we've started to work with decimals and adding and subtracting and multiplying decimals. So here we're just completing things and we're going to work with problems that end up needing or having you divide uh, two numbers together when those numbers are decimals. So the good news is if you've gone back and you understand how to do the that you've done that and you write this down here, we're only looking at this digit right now, then you go and multiply and you continue on with your division. So the way you do this is 1 times 5 gives you 5, is what we said, so you write it down and you subtract. Okay? 5 minus 5 gives you 0. Okay, so we subtract what we, what we did here, and now we, we, uh, the next thing we do after we do this subtraction is we take the next digit and we drop it down, which is a 5. Okay? Now we haven't touched any of these digits, that's okay, we're going to work our way over. Okay? And then, what we do next once we've done this subtraction is we look at this and we say, well, how many times can 5 go into 5 down here? Again, the answer is 1, because that each person gets 0 0.25 of that pi. And you knew you had to divide because you were given the total amount of pi, which is 1 pi, and you were dividing it among 4 people, so you're dividing, okay? Now, the next problem is kind of interesting, and basically it says that a train travels at 34 miles per hour. So that's its speed. It goes at 34 miles per hour. How many hours does it take to go 110.5 miles? Okay. So we know a train is going 34 miles per hour and we know uh, that it's going to go 110 miles on the bottom. They cancel. They, they just disappear. Okay. So because this is on top and this is on bottom, this is division here. Okay, anything on the top and anything on the bottom is divided by one another. So, by putting it this way, you know that you must divide by 34 because that is the only way that the units come out to hours. Okay, so you can always use your units to help you figure out what to do. So if you take 110.5 and you divide it by 34, the units will cancel so that you'll have hours left over. And hours is what you want. So if you're confused about do I multiply or do I zero up there? So 0 times 12 gives us 0, and we subtract, and we have 4 down here. And now we want to drop down our next digit because, you see, we're not done. We're not done dividing. We've still got this 4 hanging out, and we still need to keep dividing until we get to the end. But we've run out of digits to drop down. Well, I we told you before, you can put a decimal point in here. And you can put another digit afterwards. That's to totally okay to do because, like I've said, 5 is the same as 5.2. I'm sorry. 5 is the same as 5.0, which is the same as 5.00, which is the same as 5.000. These zeros after a decimal, well, the answer is 0. 2 is just simply too small. How many times will it go into 20? Again, it's not going to go in at all. How many times can 125 go into 200? I think you'll all agree it goes one time. Okay, because if you try to go two times, that's going to be 250. That's too big. So 1 times 125 is 125, and then you subtract. Okay, you subtract. So in order to do this, this 200 minus 125, you're going to need to do some borrowing. This is going to become a 10, okay? And I'm going to borrow that from the next column, but the next column is a 0, so I need to make him. 